Andrea's come round to give Aida a checkup. She's been having mild contractions, but isn't too sure if she's in labour yet. <laughs> Everything's fine, and although labour may have started, Andrea feels that there's plenty of time for her to complete her other visits for the day. When would you like to be caught? Looking at Aida and what you think. I know, I do know I've had a conversation where she said that she sometimes has a bit of a panic and calls too early. And I'm not, I don't have a problem. If you feel like you're panicking and you want me here, that's totally fine. So that kind of overrides anything else that I say. Oh, but, no, no, if she wants to call, then obviously yeah. I'm not going to stop her. No, 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 I know I that. I like the firm, But, firm, you know, if they're thing. kind of, because it takes me, it takes me half an hour as long as the traffic's all right. And the worst it takes is 40 minutes. Basically, I suppose if your contractions are kind of, once they start getting closer than yeah. four minutes apart, I mean, yeah. That's kind of that's that, yeah. you know that's four, leaving four, it a four little minutes. late. Four minutes is, is is the time which I decide to call you whatever she says. Yeah, that's fine. Says, I mean, we could still be actually a long way from. Oh no 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 no! I'm I'm not disputing but that. It's just a kind of a particularly particularly if they've gone if, from like seven minutes to four minutes within half an hour. I really want to be on my way because they're going to be sort of three minutes, two minutes by the time I get here. Yeah, no, that's okay. And being here when they're kind of two minutes apart is cool. But I don't have any problem, it's totally up to Aida really, and the point at which she thinks, no, I want Andrea now. That's good. Mm. All right then, everybody. Bye. See you soon. I never get any bananas. Oh, that's all right then, though. You never get any bananas in your porridge. You're lucky to get porridge. <laughs> Mommy, we need more porridge. However, Andrea's only been gone 40 minutes, and Aida starts to have very strong contractions. She's got in the pool and already has the urge to push. Okay. It's painful. It hurts. I'm scared of baby. But a baby's coming out. You're going to see your brother or sister. Well, not now. No, not quite yet. <laughs> not yet. If only. <laughs> Andrea's on her way, but will John be the one to catch this baby? Andrea's arrived. Hello, lovely. Can can I just get in? She's babying. <laughs> Can you say babying? Uh, yeah. She's babying. Yeah. <sighs> you're doing great. I can tell you're doing great. It just feels like it, but you're doing great. Oh. 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 Andrea prepares the gas and air as Aida finds the contraction so strong she's in need of some pain relief. But Andrea doesn't want her to use it too much. Because what you're doing with the contractions is so powerful, I don't want you to lose that. Just use it to gather yourself and then really go with your contractions because they're great. And this, you know, all the pushing you're doing is fantastic. I think your baby's probably quite low down as well, isn't it? Yeah, that's good. That's great. Fantastic. The contractions are getting stronger and Andrea now prepares the room for the baby's arrival. She has a warming blanket with a towel on top should she need to resuscitate the baby with portable suction and oxygen to hand. Aida needs some reassurance. 
Andrea. Yes, my lovely. Tell me I don't need to transfer in. You absolutely categorically are not going in. Okay. Categorically. Hang on a second, hang on a second, let go. Breathe, breathe normally while I'm getting it sorted. That's it. And I'm probably like, put it back in and so it all down with it. Go on. It's all back to her again. Big, saggy, saggy, <sighs> saggy. Saggy. Breaths. Breaths. I've got ages to go. You haven't got ages to go. No, you're only ten hours. I can see your labia parting, your perineum flattening, and your bum bulging. Oh. Ah. Do you think we need to transfer in? No! What do we need to transfer you're in? You're asking me. Andrea, you're going to have to transfer me in. OK, Aida, listen to me. Yeah? You've got to ditch that. If I think you need to go in, I will start to tell you okay. when it becomes important. I am not thinking that. OK. OK, I am really happy with how you're doing. You're progressing beautifully and very quickly for you. So just... Trust that you're in the right moment, you're doing the right things, it's all going fine. But ditch that fear, okay, because you, you, you'll you let it get in the way. Don't let it get in the way. You don't have to go anywhere. You trust yourself, you're doing a brilliant job here. And you're just going to be here. Wait. Aida's examined herself to see where the baby's head is. No, it's just, it's not close. But do you know what? Okay, that's an inch closer than last time you showed me. <sighs> Okay, so that's really good. And that was only about half an hour ago. She just needs some extra encouragement from Andrea. You're moving baby every time. It's moving backwards and forwards each time. Are you feeling baby sliding down now? Inside, inside. Yeah. Yeah, there yeah. you go. It's Baby's coming. coming. Absolutely. Because <sighs> you're so bloody brilliant. <sighs> yeah, really and truly on its way, hey? Uh, I'm going to see my baby. Yeah! <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm really going to do it. Of course, of course you are. Do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to give birth to this baby. Yay! Oh, please, baby, come now. Please come. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Please come, baby. 